Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com and in today's episode of The 10 Minute Gardener we're going to be showing you how to plant out sweet corn. If you're not already subscribed to us at Learn How to Garden, there's a link directly below this film. Click on that, input your email address, and that means you have access to our free monthly newsletter. You get to see it every single time we put up a new film, and it lets you know what films appear on the website that don't appear on the other aggregators. What we have here are one of the trays of sweet corn that we planted in root trainers a few weeks ago, and it's now ready to go out. The soil is nice and warm, the days are nice and warm. As you can see, it's a great root system on the bottom. And if I just open up these root trainers, we should be able to see that wonderful root system growing down. And sweet corn need quite a lot of space. You need about 35 centimetres between plants and up to 60 centimetres between rows, which gives you an awful lot of space underneath. And I have in the past grown sweet corn using what's known as the Three Sisters method, which originated uh, in America. It's what the Plains Indians used to do, where they grew corn, but in fact they grew maize, which is a stronger, taller growing uh, type of corn. And then you grow beans. In their case, they actually grew Trail of Tears beans up the actual corn. And then they grew squash underneath. And I have used that method in the UK, and it's okay, but I've never felt I was getting the best from it. So for the last couple of years I've been experimenting uh, with a different way of growing them but still utilising that space underneath the sweet corn. So what I now do is I plant my sweet corn out 35 centimetres between the plants, about 60 centimetres between rows and then between those actual sweet corn I use this. This is trifoil, it's a green manure. And the reason I use trifoil is it can stay in a whole year if you want. But what it does, it covers the ground between the sweet corn, so it stops evaporation from the soil, because there's a lot of bare soil with sweet corn. But it also is a nitrogen fixer. So it is fixing nitrogen in the soil as the sweet corn are growing. So you get this really good symbiotic relationship. And I've found that in uh, temperate climates, it's actually better you get better sweet corn if you use this method of actually using trifoil a green manure between the sweet corn and sweet corn are really quite easy to plant take a decent sized um, trowel and i have to say i love these sneeball trowels these are originally bulb planting trowels and you don't use it like that at all you actually sort of hold it like this bang it into the ground, pull it towards you, and you could plant thousands of bulbs a day with this. And the other thing I like it about it is I know that that head is 15 centimetres long. So when I'm planting out, it's really easy to be able to space things out. So we take up first sweet corn, pop it in, and drop it in to those first leaves. So it's going deeper in the ground than you think. If you watch the actual film on sowing and growing sweet corn, you'll know that we drop it in. So we go one, two, three, in. Take our sweet corn into the first leaves, round. And as you can see, there is a big space between these. You could, if you wanted, move them closer together. I have done that on raised beds, and you can actually do it so they're only 30 centimetres apart, and you'll still get quite a good crop. Um, what we need to do is get these sweet corn in, and remember, we plant them in a block because they're wind pollinated. So I'll get all the sweet corn in now, and then we'll come back. For the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll notice they actually are closer than 45 centimetres. So I've actually gone with 30 centimetres uh, between plants and 45 between rows. And that was because the bed that we're on um, had uh, beans in it last year. So there's a lot of nitrogen in this bed. Um, it's a no-dig bed that's been here four to five years, so it has lots and lots of goodness in it. Um, and I think they'll be fine with that spacing. And then for your green manure, just set your finger and sort of do like a little cross between. And you, what you're doing is broadcasting this seed. It's very fine. And 
broadcasting along these lines. It doesn't matter if they're outside the lines, it's just to give us an idea. And just take your hand and gently work it around the soil. Do this between all of these sweet sweet corn. We do that between all of the sweet corn. <coughs> just little crosses, broadcast it in roughly that area. It looks like it's going to rain in about the next 15-20 minutes. If it does, I won't water it. But otherwise, I'll give these a really good watering in. And then we'll leave them. And we'll come back uh, in a couple of months uh, to give you an update to show you what the green renewer is doing. It'll be suppressing weeds, it'll be adding nitrogen. And once the sweet corn are finished, once we've harvested this sweet corn, we'll take those out. But we'll leave this green manure in till next spring when we'll incorporate that into the bed or we may just cut the top off and then put some more uh, compost or mulch on the top. But that now can do its work of improving the soil, improving the structure for you know anything up to a year. So that is my preferred method now of growing sweet corn. So I used to use the three sisters, I now use this sort of method which I don't know, what shall we call it? Sweet corn twins, I've no idea what to call it really. It's just using two different plants which have a good symbiotic relationship so that they both grow really well. Thanks a lot for watching.